I like to cook on the big green egg. Why? It's impressive and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories. They even have a classroom set up to teach you all the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee. So check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them out on Instagram or just go to their website, Wasi's Meat Market com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wassie's Meat Market. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find out right now on Patreon. The Patreon is called Twitch Tiny Decay, and it's not Nuclear the flying stoppers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I should get my RC. The so-called flying stoppers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. You know, everyone, I have to <clears throat> interrupt the episode for a second. You know, I know I gave Cody his cake. I gave him uh, his walker. But I have one more gift. What is it? For me? Yeah. Something else? Yeah. But you've already done so much. Oh, oh, it's our new merch. Yes, but it's a collab with our favorite shooting range in, here in space. <clears throat> These guys do great stuff. Moonshot, what is this? Uh, Moonshoot laser range. Yep, down there. Oh, yeah, Moonshoot. I love yeah. going there. Yeah, um, so this is a little collab with us. You may see a video of us shooting at the range sometime. So this is so y this is a gift for me. It's a gift, but it's also a collab that other people can purchase. Okay, so you so this, oh god, okay, I see. So you got me our own merch for my birthday. So yeah. This, so the so did you just get this from the box of merch that we have? No, no. They no. the box that they sent us, and they said, "Hey, no, this is the stuff that for no, you." For no, no, I to bought it in advance. Okay, I paid did. for it. Okay, so I if did. I go in there right now, there's going to be a sand colored hoodie maybe like you this. don't want to go in there because like you know you're kind of tired from the cake but okay all right well thank you man i appreciate it yeah no problem. i really appreciate it this shit is cool i mean regardless you know <laughs> where can they get this merch man tell them well you can of course go to tmgpod.com uh -huh. <laughs> did you fucking get me an extra small oh that's right <laughs> you fucker maybe that is too small for you well, you know, the lady from the Perverse Family is able to get her head in a much smaller <laughs> hole. So. Nice. No one's going to understand that. Yeah, yeah you're going to have to go to the line. bonus episode for that. But All right. Uh, yeah, everybody. Let's get back to the show. We just wanted to. Uh, yeah, anyways, the merch is out now. TMGPod.com, Moonshoe Laser Ranch, our favorite, uh, one of our favorite space businesses. Yeah. And uh, you can get some right now. Get some for Christmas for friends who like the podcast or whatever. Mm -hmm. TeamGPod.com. Thank you. Appreciate it. Back to the show. Nice. That's sick, dude. Thank you. You're just going to leave it like that? Your brand new walker? Does it have brakes? Is that what these are? Yeah. Yeah, they're Brembo's, man. Oh, yeah. Can you do a... A lift to fold. No, we don't want to fold. Nice. I like this thing. I like the paint job too. Yeah. Is that custom? Yeah. Paint my walker? Yeah, we went to um um I was gonna say West Coast Customs that felt too basic. I actually took it down to Texas. Yeah? Yeah, chose like some random shop. I was like, put fucking candy apple red on that. They were like, <laughs> got you. Candy paint with the white on mm -hmm. top. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they were playing you in the shop. You know that shop. song? Yeah, by... That's a Post Malone song. Oh, I thought that was um, Drew Barrymore. No. Happy birthday, dude. Thanks, 31 has appreciate a it. Yeah. Uh, 
Thanks, dude. Thank you. Yeah, let's do the little. Oh, my bad. Thanks. Appreciate it. 31. How's it feel? Shitty. It sucks. Yeah. What a bad birthday. Because <laughs> it's like, it's just, I don't, I'm not even like upset about like being in my 30s now. Yeah. It's just like a shitty number, 31. Yeah. It's just like doesn't sit anywhere mm-hmm. in my mind, you know? Yeah. It's so far from being a round, complete, beautiful number. Yeah, it's just odd. It's just like, I just feel like this is the year of just like, it's just, you know, a weird, vi- I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Totally. It's yeah. that yeah. in my mind. What That's what 31 said. is right there. Yeah. You can't exactly. remember what you were going to say. Yeah. It's uh, just, uh, I can't uh, phrase things uh, anymore. Uh, mm, eh. Yeah. All your references are out of date. Yeah. Or just slightly out of date. Exactly. That's what this age is. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's like when um, that's like when fucking. Uh, Did you see that meme? My last day. It's like when you make a Timothy McVeigh joke and people are like, "Who?" <laughs> Timothy McVeigh. <laughs> oh, the Oklahoma. Oh. I thought you were just fucking up Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> That's how hard you're trying to pretend to be a Zoomer. <laughs> you mean Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> yeah. Um. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank dude. you, everyone. That's you why I was late. Walker. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. That was that was my call. I'm like, his back is hurting these days. I yeah. need to make sure. It has been, dude. <laughs> so, By the way, are we going now? Are we going? Oh, we've been going. Okay, hold on. Let me just take this off because I'm fucking hot as shit. So speaking of um, so speaking of um, like West Coast customs and cars and shit like that, I had the weirdest gas station experience. Let's hear about it. Okay, so I pull into the gas station, and I'm leaving. I'm driving up to the Surf Ranch. It was like three and a half hour drive, and I'm leaving oh, at yeah. night. Shout out Super Seventy Three for inviting us to the Surf Ranch. Yes, I can't surf, so I I was like, yeah. They were like, do you want to go? And I'm like, yeah. I've never surfed before. And then I'm like, it's kind of expensive to run every wave. And then someone there was like, yeah, you know, if you're not comfortable, we've got plenty of people. I'm like, all right, that's <laughs> the nice way of being like, it's not the place to learn, pal. Which I, I know, every surfer considering. Yeah. Yeah. Every surfer is like, yeah, I mean, be kind of a waste, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it be a waste if someone would No, I would have loved for you to come. Um, what? <laughs> all right mark <laughs> are you <down>. coming <laughs> <laughs> no i just it it uh honestly the less surfers the better yeah because then it's like you the surfers get more waves but um oh because you just would have wanted me to fall oh, oh man you would have actually surfed you're saying yeah like i was okay. gonna try no so then then i was like um i'm down to go watch and then that just felt like getting cucked. Yeah. And then what's actually crazy is um, my driving coach hit me up and he's like, uh, I got a race car if you want to test drive it next week. So I'm spending all this week like running, trying to get like. <laughs> running? Yeah. You're running to train for driving a car? Dude, race cars are weirdly like, uh, it's like all the adrenaline. Like it, it just like amps up your heart rate. So it feels like you're running. Right, right, it's right. It's the same right. feeling. Okay. So. Yeah, um, but anyway, so you're at the gas station. Yeah, so I'm leaving at night, right? <clears throat> Already like hitting a gas station at night on Lincoln. Yeah. Already, I'm a little bit like, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, uneasy. Let's just say, <laughs> right? And uh, and so this dude, these two guys pull in in like an old ass sports car, mm-hmm. like a dope. What are, what's like one of the brands, like old sports cars? Porsche, Ferrari. No, 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 no. Like, uh, fuck, like classic car. Miata. British. Like an Aston Martin? No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about. God damn it, I forget. Jaguar? I forget what the brand Jaguars is. Jaguars aren't British anymore. Anyways, old ass sports car, like classic collector's vintage car. And they pull in two British guys and they get out and they're like, oh yeah, fill it with petrol. It's not a Porsche? Things in great condition, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they start filling it up from the back of the car. Like the gas thing is in the fucking very back. You sure it's not a Porsche? So they wrap the thing. Maybe it was a fucking Porsche. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was though. I think there's this certain brand that I'm looking for. 
British? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So anyways, they, they're like filling up and I'm like, this is just already straight out of like a movie or something. Like, oh yeah, hey, bro. Yeah. yeah. They're like looking at the car and then this dude pulls in to the gas station, an old ass Cadillac, like fully hydraulic up and yeah. he's like putting on a show. Low rider, like he pull, just... low rider, he pulls in, it's like, <laughs> he's bouncing, Hell yeah. shifting the car over to the side, it's going, <laughs> but nobody's watching. And there's like three people at the gas station, two British guys and me, and this guy that's doing this, and they're not watching. So then it's up to me to be like, and I don't know what to do. I don't know like if he wants me to look or what he's doing, Right? who is he doing it for, I have no idea. Right. And so he's like fully, the car is like boom, boom, like bouncing and shit. It's like music's blasting. Finally, the British guys look at him and they're like, right, nice. And he just keeps doing it like for way too long. And my car's still filling up. And then eventually like the guys, the British guys go over to talk to him. And then in my mind, I'm like, wait, like hydraulics, isn't that like, aren't there like sparks going in there? Shouldn't a gas station be like the last place that you're doing this? Nah. You don't think so? Nah. You don't think there's something going on in there that's like flammable or anything? No. I don't know. I started freaking out. I nah. was like, this is so dangerous. I don't know what's... So I'm like looking at this girl, <laughs> looking at this guy's car, and I'm just like freaking out. And this girl walks up to me and goes, hi, I'm a huge fan. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in this <laughs> gas station right now? I'm freaking the fuck out. That's just a GTA server. It was. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I have a fucking uh, 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 yeah. put petrol in I it. How long have you had this thing? Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty sick, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, low riders are dope, man. Yeah, it was cool. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. Netflix has different content available to users depending on where they're located. Did you know that? No. No, you didn't because you're only located in one place. Yeah. So you're probably just blind to the fact that there's a whole world of content that you haven't accessed yeah uh netflix also has tens of thousands of shows but you only get to access a fraction of that watching netflix without using expressvpn is like paying for a gym membership but only being able to use the treadmill how does expressvpn unblock content well tell uh, us dude how does it work expressvpn lets you change your online location so you can control where you want netflix to think you're located you're basically Netflix's sneaky link. Mm -hmm. They have almost 100 different server locations, so you can gain access to thousands of new shows. This works with many other streaming services too, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, and more. Yeah, like did you know Inception is on Canadian Netflix? No. <laughs> well, it sure is. Listen, why would you choose ExpressVPN over other VPNs? Well, I'll tell you the answer to that question. Okay. It has blazing fast speeds. Mm -hmm. You can stream in HD with zero buffering, dude. Wow. It's also compatible with all of your devices, phones, laptops, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. Yeah. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash TMG. Don't forget to use our link at expressvpn.com slash TMG to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Oh, I forget. I like, like a month ago. I was in Inglewood, and um, I think there was like a, like a car club that had just like met up somewhere. It was just a good amount of lowriders just driving, just hitting switches and shit. I'm like, that is like, that's crazy because there's like a moment of travel where you just don't see what's in front of you. Yeah. This is like an obscure thought, but I'm like, someone's dog or cat just like running out yeah. the street. Oh, yeah. just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It bounce on? Yeah, it just... <laughs> <laughs> you hear something? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, that... that It just feels like one of those L.A. situations where you're like, what? Yeah. Can I go home? Yeah. Yeah, it it, it feels like dementia or yes. something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it felt like it was in a video, video game. Seriously, like it was... It was just... Like, it was bizarre. Yeah, like what the fuck is happening? Yeah, not really the same thing, but um, I discovered a new upper body workout. What is it? It's actually more of a full body workout. It's uh, pushing a cart at Target. Okay. I, that's a dumb. <laughs> that's a you roasting him. And that's a dumbass dad joke, one. but <laughs> I, I like I really like. I went to Target a few days ago, and f first of all, the most on the more in line of what you're saying. This is the most dystopian shit I've seen in my mind, ever. 
we're in Target and there's a fucking video wall, like, you know, monitors like embedded in the wall. And it's a, like an influencer in a gaming chair reviewing a book that is sold at Target. And it's like, so clearly this is like a YouTuber and they're, yeah, and, and it's got the book on the right hand side of the frame that you can purchase. And he's like, love this book. The story is da da da. I'm like, this is a fucking 35 year old dude. Like, what the fuck is going on in here? Who, whose book was it? It was just a kid's book. What? It, 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 he's it's, reviewing a kid's book because he, he bought it for his kid or? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's just a dude in a gamer chair, like empty background. Like it's in his house. A lot of great pictures in here, you guys. <laughs> so like, Seriously. Fuck it's not happening. a ton of words because it is a child's book, but I got to say the art is pretty good if you're a child. Like out of all the people they could have picked, least relatable guy. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even look like he's ever had a kid. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's going to have a kid. Doesn't look like he fucks at all. It's the least believable person to review a child's book, you know? And it's just, so it's just weird that he's reviewing a book. Yeah. For 12 kids. pages. Seems right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good amount, good amount of pages. Oh, watch this! Watch this! Pop up! Huh? Pop up! Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty sick. In a in a like a like a HyperX chair. <laughs> it's the weirdest shit, and his clothes look look bad. Like he didn't look like he dressed. <laughs> Can we try and occasion? find this? It's got to be online, right? I have or is no this idea. This is strictly a piece of content that they, that they produced for in store to promote this child's book. These were all the thoughts that were going through my head. As I look at the wall and I'm walking away, and it was just more and more questions like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Who's this for? Does he review kids' books regularly? Why does he review kids' books? And I just, I felt like I had anxiety. I was asking so many questions to myself about this shit. I'm like, what is happening? Meanwhile, I'm pushing the Target cart. No, those things. Which, by the way, is a full, full body, body workout, workout, especially all the stuff my wife puts in the cart. Nah, I really He's think a menace. I really think they designed those things like two weeks after they're shipped to the store to just have the wheels behave opposite on yeah. purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking last time I was there, I was thinking this thing is a full body workout. Yeah. Yeah. I just I only say that because as I'm pushing the shit, I like struggle to push it left. I'm like, wow, I really have to use my right calf. <laughs> no, it is it is kind of true. They're all fucked up. Yeah. Because they don't replace them. No. They're designed well. But they're 40 years old, all of them. So all <laughs> the wheels so. are like fucked up. They just like, no. you know, they just grease up the thing. I think they're four days old. You think I, so? I think they're good for the first day. Yeah. And they're like cartoon shit. Like they hit one bump and all the screws just invert. One of the wheels is just stuck. Yeah. Perpendicular yeah. to the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Just dragging it on the, on the ground. When you push it forward, all the wheels go sideways. <laughs> and when you turn it, they all go straight. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. It's just, what is this, full body workout or something? <laughs> that's what I always say. I don't know. That's the wackest shit I could have ever say. <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. This is, I just, because I'm believe. picturing a dad, like in a tracksuit or something. I don't know. Or just like shitty sweatpants. Yeah. Like on a Sunday. And his wife's like loading the shit up with like Christmas decorations. Yeah. He's like, hon, it's not even Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, I just thought of a really bad joke. Sorry. Go ahead. What? No, finish. No, I want to hear that. Nice, dude. That was. I wish I never asked for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like in the fucking. Did you listen to the trillionaire episode? Uh, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. That guy is a wild person. Can't believe Stanford puts out students like that. Seriously. Yeah. That's fucking. I can't believe they school. endorse students like that. Yeah. Don't you go to came Stanford. Came in rocking the hoodie. Yeah. And everything. That's that's why. I mean, it's it's such a even more important that we beat Stanford. <laughs> You know, with Trillionaire every week because, you know, that's just one of them. Can you imagine a whole business school of guys like that? I know, dude. I can't even imagine. So, yeah. 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 Go watch the last episode of Trillionaire if you want to know what we're talking about. That was definitely a Stanford college student bit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's actually the thing he said at the end. I was just listening to it. There's a lot that he said. Oh, he said Elon had his hand in that for sure. And he's like, I had some hand I had my hand in some shit last <laughs> last night. <laughs> Anyways. It's gonna be a really funny cut when you go, I wanna hear that. I wanna hear what you just said. And then you go, I wish I never asked for that. <laughs> I know, I know. 
It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I guess not. No, it was offensive. Yeah. It was definitely offensive. It was not good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a good joke. <laughs> it was definitely a good joke. I'm just trying to hype it up. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, dad at Target. Not even Thanksgiving. And then what? You have to finish your act out. It was just uh I think it I think it ended with him being like, um, what is this, a full body workout? Yeah. That was the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a bomb sometimes. <laughs> no, no, I think it's I like it. I'm saying it's a funny joke. No, yeah. But it's li- I like how dad it is. No, it's definitely the feeling I'm getting. Yeah. No, I'm but serious. It's a good joke. I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I definitely believe you. <laughs> I definitely believe you. <laughs> Here's another bit. Um, new full body workout, uh, pushing a target cart. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I said that one already. Um, Peloton should stop selling bikes and they should sell carts instead. <laughs> I'm serious. I believed you. I'm serious. I like these jokes. What's going I definitely on? I believed you. <laughs> What's going on with me? Why am I <laughs> turning 31? I did, seriously. It's because of that. It's because of this. What is this, a Target card or something? <laughs> yeah, I bought it at Target because the, <laughs> if... the guy was reviewing it on the screen, and I'm yeah. like, that looks like a good walker. It would have been hilarious, actually, if the wheels were turned this yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... <laughs> and then you were really good at it because yeah. you're used to pushing a Target card. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, man. Um, let's get these... Uh... <laughs> Can you pull the clips points going? up on the TV? Yeah. I would prefer to have them on the TV so I could look at my porn. Oh, Taylor Swift. How does this have a password? Six, nine, seven, no. <laughs> T- Taylor Swift? We're going to T-spill Taylor Swift? No, no, not a T-spill. No, I know. Well, well you yeah. know what's going on with her album, right? Yeah, yeah. She, like, re-recorded some shit and then... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal took her virginity or whatever. That's not funny. Don't laugh. Who's laughing? I'm not, not funny, dude. I'm not smiling about that. What is Cash laughing at? That's not funny. Taylor Swift taking, taking getting her, Jake Gyllenhaal's virginity. virginity. The darkest part of that story is <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> gave Taylor Swift diarrhea. <laughs> what? He fed her laxative pasta. What? That's in one of the songs. She's no, it's not. <laughs> What's the lyric? Jake to the wall fed me. <laughs> Legs are <the> fast. <laughs> she says that? She sings that. She sings that. Yeah. She actually sings the phrase laxative pasta. <laughs> Fuck that dude, man. <laughs> so I can't. I can't believe he gave her diarrhea. That's like <laughs> the most horrible thing anyone could ever do. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. So I think that's what it is, right? Correct. Yeah, I, Correct me if I'm wrong. I honestly don't know. That's why I'm asking. He took her. I actually thought that was true for a second. And then gave her diarrhea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't understand. So I actually don't know the. Well, because you, you, you put. You put the laxative in the pasta okay, you're making, yeah. in the sauce, I think. But why would you, as a prank? Yeah, I think it was a prank. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting That's, prank. Yeah. On your own girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He's like, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, and <laughs> this is Taylor Swift with diarrhea. <laughs> he recorded it for YouTube, because it was a prank. <laughs> and then you don't even see her. You just hear her. The crazy thing is when she has diarrhea, her voice is still beautiful. Was this part of the ten minute <laughs> ten minute film that she made? Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. At the end, it's her shitting her brains out, <laughs> and the guy playing Jake Gyllenhaal on the outside, like, "What is up, YouTube?" That's the ending. Wow, what a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> so is Jake. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode. That's Babbel. Learning a new language can feel intimidating. When I first decided to give Spanish a shot, I was worried about the level of difficulty, the time commitment, and having to hear how my accent sounded out loud. But thanks to Babbel, the number one selling language learning app, the whole process was addictively fun, fast, and easy. Whether you want to learn a new language for an upcoming trip 
or as an engaging new hobby, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use, and that's bueno. <clears throat> yeah, Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. All right, Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. Sí, gracias. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Uh, right now, save up to 65% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TMG. That's babbel.com slash TMG for up to 65% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Yeah, so he like, I guess... He was dating her when she was 19 and took her virginity. And Wait, what? Broke up with her. Yeah. That like was, that. I didn't, I didn't hear that part of it. That's my, let's start a rumor. Who cares? And he was like, what, eight years older than her or something like that? <laughs> you know, he was eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that diarrhea prank makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he was, yeah, he was like, I don't know, 27, 28 or some shit. And and is it implied that the virginity taking happened? That part I don't know. Or because I don't think she actually sings that. No, she sings that. I think she's she's uh, most of the verse was about the diarrhea thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me look it up. Jake Gyllenhaal. I've I've never used an iPad in my life. Have you not? No, I've literally never used an iPad. A lot of people think the scarf that she's referring to is her virginity. Oh, it's also she wear she. There's pictures of the scarf. It's a real scarf too. What? But maybe she's also it's a double meaning. <clears throat> oh, so this is just a. It's a fan theory. It's not even confirmed, bro. So she she. Broke the uh, streaming record, like the one day streaming record. She's like now the most streamed female artist in one day and the most streamed album in one day or something like that from this album that is the same as another album that she came out with. That's so fucking crazy. Isn't that fucking crazy? She's that famous. That you can just re just re-records them. her songs, re-releases them, and it's even bigger than any other album ever. Damn. We should create oh, some scandal sick. with the original That's Cringe. And see if we can beat the views. <laughs> we should just completely we should just redo remaster it. in like, the studio. In the studio, yeah, yeah, I like that. Make all the same jokes, same cuts. Yeah, high quality audio. Yeah, we have boom mics and everything, <laughs> and like nine more angles. Yeah, spatial audio. Yeah, <laughs> you can watch fucking that's cringe in four D. Ew! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so this album, right? She released this album. Mm-hmm. And it is, it's like, it's like the whole thing is because Scooter Braun bought her masters or whatever. And she was like, that, that sucks. So I'm just going to re-record all the songs. Yeah. Which so is that a, people that want to listen to those songs can listen to my version. Then I get all the money, right? Which is a tough ass movie. Oh, fucking hard as nails. So sick <laughs> so, to do that. So Such so a dope. fuck you. Incredible. <laughs> but I thought that's all it was. And so like, it comes out the same day as Aries' new album. Uh-huh. And Kelsey and I have an eight, eight and a half hour drive from Sedona. You like Sedona, by the way? Sit down on this dig. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, eight and a half hour drive, right? And so I'm like, okay, we'll listen to the Aries album front to back, and then we'll listen to the Taylor Swift album front to back for you, because she's a huge Taylor Swift fan. Right. And she's like, that'd be awesome. And I was like, thought that was a fair trade off, right? Yeah. I didn't realize that Taylor Swift's album is the old album plus five other bonus songs. No, it's the old extended album plus five other bonus songs that she also re-released. Fuck or yeah. released for the first time, sorry. So the Aries album was 35 minutes total. The Taylor Swift album is two hours and ten minutes total. <laughs> I look at that and I'm like, what did I just do? Whoa. What did I just commit to? Whoa. Oh, we did it. You did it all. Cover to fucking cover. <laughs> two hours and ten minutes. What's your favorite song? At the end, I was like, fuck Jake Gyllenhaal, dude. Yeah. Can't He's be- a dick. I can't believe you. Yeah. He fed you that. I'm a Swifty now. Diarrhea pasta. 
And actually, this we've we've been on this wave. Yeah, we have been. We actually were like way early to this. It just mm-hmm. proves that we actually are like super big Taylor Swift fans. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say that. I'm just saying it didn't take her re-releasing the album to know that yeah, Jake, what side we were on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. This is us on this is from two years ago. This is us on part of my take. Thing was, we want to get a beef like going. Shoot, man. Because it always is good when you get the when we get the residual beef. So if yeah. you go off on someone on our show, then everyone will be like, you got to listen to what they said on part of my take. Oh, well, yeah, okay. You guys get real big guests. So I feel like we should just aim for somebody. Yeah, fuck massive. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I've yep. heard he's kind of a mm-hmm. dick. Like the whole method acting thing, it's yep. like, dude, chill out. We get yeah. it. You weren't yeah. actually in the military. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so yeah I was joking, off. but you really... No, <laughs> no, we don't like him. No, we now, no, we're, no, we're on your side. Like, fuck that. Like, it's stolen valor, basically. What he does is just try mm-hmm. to play badass characters all the time. Agree. Yeah, that's his his sister's a better actor than him. His sister's way better. Maggie's an incredible actor. Was she in Batman? Yeah. Yeah. Jake's awesome so. yeah, jake's yeah. just riding his sister's coattails Every- it's honestly a good point yeah yeah jarhead <clears throat> yeah <laughs> right yeah more like ass face nice jarhead more like one guy one jar <laughs> no what damn that was a memory i did not need yeah God damn. You know what else is a memory you don't need? Not expecting to think about that. You saw the privileged family? Perverse family. Oh, what's that? Oh, brother. If you just what heard that? that. Oh, my God. No. Literally, no. No, pull it up right now. No, 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 no. Pull it up right now and just show our faces. Don't uh, actually. No, nah, I, I, yeah, you can pull it up. I sat through it once already. I don't need to do it. Today? Again. Last night. Oh, man, this is. The most horrible shit I've seen in my entire life. Is this like an HR thing? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, it's an HR yes. thing. <laughs> okay, you know what? In between, maybe we'll like we'll watch we'll watch it on my phone right before the bonus episode starts. Yeah. So then I can just be scarred. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. the most horrible shit, literally and figuratively, that I've seen in my entire life. It's the perverse family. Don't if you're listening, don't look this up. <laughs> you know, dude. <laughs> literally, literally, don't. That's the like worst thing you can say. If you think us joking about microwaving diarrhea and sipping it as morning coffee is bad. No. This, that doesn't even hold a candle to what this is. Okay. So that's my warning to you, perverse family. Okay. It's, uh, I'm watching it, but you guys shouldn't. <laughs> if you can like listen to how hard I'm laughing, this is all just cope. Like It's coping <laughs> with what I have seen. <laughs> It's it's horrible. <laughs> I cannot wait. It's shot so well. <laughs> it's fucked up. Pull it up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> so yeah. Um yeah, the, the scarf equals the virginity. I guess so, man. <laughs> Bit of a disjointed start to this episode. You know, a lot has happened. Yeah, what else? I went to Ohio. You know, I just don't feel the same after having been there. When was that? No, we already talked about that, didn't we? Did we? Yeah. I don't know. Was that that was last <laughs> week, wasn't it? Last no, it was the week before last week. Um, we recorded an episode last week. I thought I after left you got last back. Week, right? See, this is what happens when you go to Target. You do that full body workout. Yeah. <laughs> Just too tired. You can't remember anything. Um, <clears throat> what what else has happened? We got some real life gone on. Britney's free. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of. Um, I was like, kind of jealous that she's free. I mean, that's just like a level of fame that <clears throat> you could only <laughs> aspire to have. Which like you win a court case and people are like stacked up outside a courthouse for you. Yeah, like not even rappers get that kind of treatment. That's true. Big rappers, you know, they go they go do time and they come out. It's just their friends waiting there. Their fans <laughs> don't even really show up. Yeah, it's like the one guy trying to get the autograph. <clears throat> yeah, it's so rude, you know. Yeah, bitch, I just did three years and you want me to do an autograph? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, but Britney wasn't even at the courthouse. 
and they're doing a fucking full on tailgate. That's true. That is like just a crazy level of fame to achieve, you know, but good for her. How would you kill her dad? <laughs> X-lax in the pasta. Like, like force fed or like, <laughs> is this a slow burn? No, I would just put, put <clears throat> laxatives in his pasta. I mean, he's old as shit. He could definitely die like an organ trail death. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. Organ trail? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's like a double meaning. But like the game, the organ trail. Oh, okay. And then like you could die of like dysentery or whatever. Uh, uh It's a game. It's life. it's life. It's a fucking trail in real life. I mean, yeah, but I'm a zoomer, so <laughs> I'm fourteen, so I think the organ trail is just a <laughs> well, game. Well, I'm thirteen, so yeah. I just think that organ trail is just a game. Yeah, if people died or whatever, but the movie's better is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, 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 you could definitely get him that way. Which? <laughs> just take away all the water in his house and feed him X-Lax pasta? <laughs> yeah, just shit all of his organs out? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't think any organs would come out. I think he'd just shit and then die eventually. Yeah. From, he'd be like SpongeBob, you know, yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> that guy sucks. I wouldn't kill him, but... Um, I think if I could, I would just give him really bad tinnitus. Like the ear ringing thing? Yeah. Tidness? Tidness. Yeah, yeah give him tidness. Yeah, a little bit of tidness. Wait, L- speaking of which, did you see that Matthew McConaughey clip? No. Nah. Oh, you're going to love this. Oh my God. Can we play that? S- serve my boy. Bad, bad, bad. I was just going to, if the <clears throat> if audio wasn't going to work, I was going to say, <laughs> we could just make up what he's saying. You're coming at you this time as a pickle expert. To talk about pickles, which I love so dearly, we have to go back to their origin story cucumber now look at this cucumber big plump firm bold <laughs> lots it? of promise oh this- every mom right now just went oh yeah uh, yes yeah gladly <laughs> look at this cucumber this big, far in you know <laughs> firm gay men got hopes too yeah that's they're like ah oh, yeah is this yeah is he switching <laughs> keep going this is gonna be good and then you should have just fucking just deep throat yeah. that. Well, <laughs> you take a bite. It's all hat, no cattle. It's all packaging, no product. It has no identity. It is tasteless. All it does is take up room in our proverbial salads. Dude, this is an oh, open mic. When it gets older, this is a first time open micer. It's like a fine wine. Does it get better and become a pickle? Not as firm as it once was. Got a few more bumps on it. It even shrunk. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Now we got the product behind the packaging. That's right. Now we've got identity. That's right. Inside every big dick <laughs> is, that- is a future shriveled small dick that tastes better. That's the whole purpose yeah. of this message. It's not about the size. Mm-mm. Yeah. It's about the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> See, ladies, that's what you've been missing is with small penises is you don't just suck them. You got to bite into them. Yeah. That's where the real flavor yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. My dick might be small, but it tastes really sour. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had pickled penis? Man, that... <laughs> the smaller and more shriveled it is, pickled penis is an old man's penis. <laughs> it's got a couple bumps on it. <laughs> <laughs> smaller than it once was got some bumps on it oh a little rough God, around the dude. edges sugar daddy dick is just referred to as pickled penis <laughs> it's just oh it was so small and so sour just absolutely <laughs> sour delectable salty yeah <laughs> so salty yeah that's what that is man if you bite into a small penis it'll give you flavor like you've never had before you think his wife popped in and was like what the fuck are you doing he has a wife yeah i for sure thought this dude had like a harem like, i thought he, <laughs> i thought he's one of the only guys left doing polyamory like the old school way yeah sorry his five wives yeah popped in no, I was, like matthew I, what the fuck are you doing i was like doing <laughs> 30 i don't you know? know he's making a video about i don't know he's he's what <laughs> Interrupted you, but I was like, I thought he had like 30 wives. <laughs> like he owns like a compound in New Mexico somewhere. 
Well, he owns no, in, a, in Austin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, a small suburban town. Yeah. And it's all his wives that yeah. live in the houses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all in unison, all 30 of them in the living room. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Making a pickle video. <laughs> Come in here and have sex with us. <laughs> all 30 of us. I'm tired of having sex. <laughs> it's all, all package, no product is what sex is. Taking up space. <laughs> <clears throat> it's just the stupidest fuck. Like, what in his mind thought that this was good content? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like a good subject, anything. He, bro, he's like one of the, he, he's like a corpse husband. Where it don't matter. He, this dude could tweet literally a, a picture of his nut skin, fifty thousand likes on Twitter. <laughs> like, yeah. he just got engagement, dude. It's not fair. That's You're just true. jealous, dude. I am jealous. You wish you could do a pickle video and get the same engagement as him. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah, of course. I think anyone does, yeah. honestly. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. More time at home has meant more delicious home cooked meals. But if you're tired of your own recipes, because they suck, let someone else handle the cooking. Change things up tonight with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love that can actually cook good food, unlike you. Right now and right to your door. Yeah, ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With tens of thousands of restaurants across Canada, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like McDonald's, Popeye's, A&W, and you bet, Timmy Tim, Ho's. Tim, Tim Hortons. With hundreds of restaurants in almost every province and territory, you might find a new favorite as well. And don't worry about cooking because you suck at it. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TINY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. I made a point about, like, I made a video yesterday, you know, it's because some kid told me, like, a while back, he's like, oh, farts aren't funny. I'm like, dude, there are fart videos on YouTube. Yeah. There are fart compilation videos on YouTube with more views than like the original Dune probably. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like Casablanca probably doesn't have as many views and ticket sales as like a fart compilation. Or downloads as the fart app. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Farts aren't funny. That's honestly making me pissed. <laughs> That's not even funny. I'm like angry at that kid. I mean, how could anyone even? Yeah, how could how could you begin to articulate <sighs> such a thought? But yeah, ah, I'm just gonna forget about it. Yeah, no, just let it go, let it go. It. Calm down, calm down. It's your birthday. What were we watching? Oh yeah, Matthew. No, it's it's good content though. No, I, this is honestly kind of inspiring for me, you know, because this guy just sold like how many millions of copies of his fucking memoir book? Yeah, that he wrote. Yeah, how many fucking movies has he done? With incredible storylines, and yet he cannot make a minute-long video that's, like, at all good. Like, that's pretty f inspiring, is it not? That means there's hope for anyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. We haven't even watched the last 15 seconds yet. Oh, let's go. Now we've got purpose because we're a pickle, sour, sweet, dill. It commits. It's the pickle. And you do tickle my fancy. I was wrong. That video actually rolled. <laughs> Dill's not a flavor, dude. Did you hear him? Yeah. Why Sweet, you know? sour dill. Dill is like a fucking plant. I don't know. I don't need vegetables. It's a herb. It's a herb. That's not a flavor. Yeah. Is then, it? You fucking, how many copies of a book, a fucking book you just sell? Wait, isn't it like sour pickle, dill pickle? Isn't yeah. It it is. Damn, you just got dunked on. <laughs> you got dunked on by Matt. Just just admit you're jealous, dude. I am jealous. What are the what are the comments? Let's see. The comments, oh my God, squirt your pickle juice on them. And see, why do you gotta say stuff like that? These <laughs> why, why do you have <laughs> that's, not real, that's not a real comment. <laughs> I'd love to taste your pickle. Jesus. Damn. Meredith. 
shove your fat tiny <laughs> pickle down my fucking whoa i'll take your tasteless cucumber any day Ugh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> i love I, wait like, wait go up go up i swear this man could talk about air and i would listen and he would give us one of the best life analogies don't give him any ideas I love all the random accounts trying to get engagement, like that cinema file. What is that? Cinema spectacle. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just didn't even watch the video. It comments yeah. that on every single yeah. video. You know what they say. I was not expecting to learn about pickles on my Sunday evening, yet I wasn't disappointed. Crying. Emo- okay. Cool. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, get that out. Meredith it was the, Thorpe. This was the best thing I've ever watched. What the fuck kind of life do you lead? <laughs> a horny one? <laughs> <laughs> like, you are definitely, like, no one is watching. Matthew McConaughey, to me, I think is just, you know, that's ass pics for, for at least straight women, you yeah. know? That's the equivalent of an ass pic for a straight woman. Ma- yeah. <clears throat> Man's bringing us the content we didn't know we needed today. The internet's so funny because no matter, like, unless you're an egregiously, like, offensive creator, like, the comments are are this for everyone. Yeah. It's such a false positive. <laughs> it like, really is. It really is. It's like you're in your own world where people are like, dude, literally, Scorsese, if he saw this, <laughs> would literally end his own life and probably sign over his entire net worth and company to you because... He would realize he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> it's fucking Ryan's toys. Like, <laughs> that's really funny. That's really true. It's just, yeah. except for on TikTok where everything is bullying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like it's about different. TikTok. Yeah, it, they're keeping they're keeping the spirit of meanness alive yeah. on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> um, you well, just listen to some of these hinge audios. <laughs> Speaking of TikTok, <laughs> a nice seg there, dude. I was going to delete Hinge, but then they came out with the, the audio f- feature. <laughs> what the fuck you, voice is that? I hate well, these I'm new text to speech videos. Good at driving with my knees. I was feeling super stressed, so I went to the doctor, and she gave me some pills for anxiety. So I tried them out, and I ended up adopting six pet rats. Fraud chicken. Daniel, like the name Daniel. Uh, to use it in a sentence, hey, that cool guy Daniel over there. Having a bath after a long day is literally heaven. I was going to delete Hinge, but then. All right, so for if you're listening on audio, basically, yeah, Hinge has this feature where you can reply to like a prompt about yourself with a voice recording. So these dudes are like answering questions like, how do you say your name and whatever. and the lack of charisma is <laughs> it's, it's mind blowing. Very, truly. very evident. Yeah. The funniest one was the version where the dude just read the prompt out loud <laughs> and like didn't respond to it. <laughs> that shit killed me. <laughs> like, like he thought that the others like say this phrase. Yeah. Because the girls can hear yeah. the voice. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, it's like, what's your favorite drink? What's your favorite drink? <laughs> I don't know the fucking point of that. What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> I nailed that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Killed that, brother. Definitely gonna date me. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, I don't know. You're probably gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> that one's dating me is like. I bet you can't. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> he just <laughs> read it. <laughs> I bet you can't. <laughs> I bet you can't. A random fact I love is sloths <laughs> sleep 20 hours a day. Cool. Georgia. <laughs> What's that question? Oh, this is important. Give me travel chips for what? Travel chips for <laughs> He's just Georgia. Georgia. Sick tip, dude. All of Georgia. <laughs> oh, this is important. Uh, I order for the table Miller Lights and Fireball shots. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If you don't know, I'm sorry. Dude, these are fucking hilarious. What a, what a, man, how, what a how, weird thing to keep up. <laughs> I order Fireball <laughs> and Bud Light. If you don't like it, sorry. Sorry. Is this new Hinge update? Brag about you to my friends. 
if we can go out drinking most nights. Is that corpse husband? And you can actually keep up with me. Because I've been drinking since I was like 10, 11. WTF is this <laughs> what? weekend a. That dude that, w- that was wasted recording that. Yeah, no. Either that or it's like he just, just woke up. Or it's like right before he's no, going no. to bed. He just woke up in the middle of a bender. Like, yeah. He just fucking. No, he's. <laughs> yeah. Like a zombie. He's recording. And there's another girl in his bed right, <laughs> right beside him. So he's trying to be quiet so he doesn't wake up. Let that shit go. Let it play. About you to my friends. <laughs> if we can go out drinking most nights of the week. James. You can actually James. With me. James. Because I've been drinking since I was like. 10-11. James, what are you saying? Are you okay? <laughs> Alcohol is fucked up, man. That shit aged him 40 years beyond his age. That dude was like 22, sounded like a war vet. That dude's like 11. What girl is going to listen to that? What woman is going to be like, yeah, that guy makes me feel safe? <laughs> Just like respond, dude. <laughs> oh, I He's definitely want to hang out with this was 10? Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Means he can handle his liquor. <laughs> this is my dude. <laughs> this is my guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. I thought he was Hobby English. material. Yeah. Straight, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been drinking since I was 10 or 11. I really thought he was English. That's how drunk he was for the first <laughs> half of it. It's so... Hey, it's fu- fucking like- blacked out. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna update my Tinder audio. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that blacked out look in someone's eyes was like... He's like that dude in the party that's like in the corner, you know? Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know okay. that reference, dude. You're 13. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant like you know those TikToks of dudes that are like, "Yo, I'm gonna talk to so many hoes tonight." Oh, yeah. And the hoes come over and they're just like in the thing, just switching apps, like in the corner switching apps. He's oh, doing that, but he like switches by a hinge, and he's like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> ten or eleven. I just know that ten or eleven. <laughs> he's doing it in the corner of another room because he doesn't want anyone to catch him. If we go out drinking, oh, no, James, here. there's girls here, man. Shut the fuck up. I have to start over. <laughs> oh, if we go out, <laughs> that shit is so funny, bro. Is there another one? Please. He, oh, wait, wait hold on, hold on. I love these what so do you think, much. Like his replies are like people. Do you think it's just women being like, "Hey, I'm not interested, but I just want to know, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> my I, my I, brother's I, been in AA for ten years. Yeah, he's done a lot for him. Yeah. <laughs> Please get a sponsor. I could be. Your, I'm not interested, but I could be your sponsor. Yeah, I could be your sponsor. I want to keep you on the on the straight path. All right, what is this? Loaded hinge for the new update, and wow, hinge and wow. I got four <laughs> nipples. Yeah, daddy. No, it's, it's just it's just Jacob. I'm sorry about that. I got ex- I got excited. I'm just trying to, I'm just, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All the time. This is unreal. Daddy. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I just, it's just Jacob. I got excited. Record, nailed it. Boop, that's definitely going to get him. So I'm gonna turn around, about to go around, always looking at me, I'm down, looking at me, down. I just wanna say now, I turn around, that drama little mama, I want to give me and I know I'm coming over to the little bit conceited, and I keep on repeating how the boy wanna eat, and I'm trying to tell that I can't be treated like clientele, cause they say she delicious. But I ain't permissible, seeing if you were suspicious, all that shit is fictitious, I blow kisses. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> it at the end. He was killing it up until that point. Damn. I want to get on there just to do that. I bet you can't and just do rap, God. (laughs) (laughs) That 
is so entertaining, dude. Bro, that reminds me. Oh, damn. This is this is like mean, but whatever. <laughs> Alina and I. <laughs> Alina and I went, by the way, I haven't been to Rodeo Drive as an adult, like in a long ass time. And I went there over the weekend and that, that place is also a GTA server. Oh yeah. It's just a lot of strange characters there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so there, we go to the store, Alina's buying some shit and the cashier, I feel mean doing this, but whatever, she's ringing her out to having a conversation. She says something in the middle. She laughs, but I felt so bad because her laugh just, it was just like a, <laughs> it was like, you know, I just, I felt for her. What what store did she work at? No, no, that's fine. <laughs> it's Where fine. was it? It's fine. And she kept going. I just, it made me feel for people with ugly laughs, you know, they can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> she just has to go around in life with that. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, totally. <laughs> that one's pretty bad, actually. Now I'm thinking about my own laugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not say, it's not to say I have a good laugh either, but her, hers is just like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, totally. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Super Mario. Like, Wahoo! like that same. It's one of those laughs where there's like a weird silence afterwards. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. She's like, what's wrong? <laughs> is this not funny? It's like. It's like there's air pressure being released and she can't stop it. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to pull it and back. Everyone else is, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, ooh, oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Whoops. Did you, mean to, did you mean to make that sound? <laughs> Just... just. <laughs> no, oops, no, 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 oops. no, 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 <laughs> Oops. Shh. Uh -uh, let's not do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> she starts laughing and people are like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It actually wasn't funny. <laughs> Damn, she's on first dates just letting her ugly laugh out and then the fucking dude on the side's like, get off my dick. It was not that funny. You're trying way too hard. <laughs> There's a Pixar movie in there somewhere about a, a, two people with ugly ass laughs finding love with each other and then them just ugly laughing away into the sunset. <laughs> Is there something wrong with their car? That's just their laughter. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Oh, man. It's so, that's so funny. It's Pick such a funny concept. Someone else apologizing for the person that's or just like, just instantly regretting what they just said damn fuck that's funny i'm thinking i'm also thinking now of like oops oops, oops. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oopsie no <Oopsie, nope>. no <laughs> Shh. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh no 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 come 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 down come down come down I'm, I'm picturing a dude like on fucking like on tinder is just like a 10 like perfect jaw just like six three <laughs> Shows up for the first date. She makes one joke, and his laugh is just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's cartoonishly bad. Oh, 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 so you do that all the time? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that's you make. So that's the sound you make. Fucking <laughs> like, you know, hell! Not, not you know, not in the same vein. But shout out to my boy Brett Phillips on the fucking. <laughs> this motherfucker! Oh my god! Look up Brett Phillips goose laugh. Oh man! Hi guys, it's a uh, it's Monday. We're gonna do mom joke Monday, as you all know. My mom has a lot of corny jokes, so we're don't gonna point at me, to dude. Mr. Brett <laughs> do the target the cart <laughs> bit. Okay, here we go. This is an old video. How man. many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? How many? Ten tickles. <laughs> Why did the stadium get hot after the game? Because it was hot. All the fans left. <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs> How do you make an egg roll? You push it. Oh my gosh. 
Why did the bicycle fall over? Because <laughs> they didn't have a peg. It was too tired. <laughs> Two tires. You get that I one? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the light bulb. What dog keeps the God best damn time? it, not. Nah. The best time? The best time. <clears throat> a poodle? A watchdog. Duh. What did the duck he, He's like younger here. He's like way too <clears throat> timid. We need like a fucking current video. He will do that bike pump laugh like... 40 highs in a row. <laughs> yeah, crazy laugh. Come on, man. We got to skip to like the end. What the fuck? This should be illegal. Re-uploading TV from oh, your it's fucking the same phone. fucking clip, too. All right, so go back to the fuck one that. and then like skip to the... <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Brett Phillips erupts in laughter. When I came up to the plate against you in the video game, you thought I was a pitcher? At first, I did, yeah. <laughs> wait, then I realized, I was like, it? wait. We're going to get it? That's not, that's, that's not a picture. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, so, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh, man, I'm just getting busted inside right now. <laughs> get the thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this that's is classic. This is actual laugh. Well, it's, well, it's well, like, it's like, my name is it sounds like a rusted yeah. sounds like a rusted tire. Yeah, as I'm saying it's like a bike pump or like yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like one of those fucking uh like rusted like lawn geese that just like yeah. rotates. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> People with ugly laughs hating this episode. <laughs> we can't help it. Yeah. Shout out, Brett, man. <clears throat> um, fucking hell, what an episode. I, this this episode felt like dementia. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> I feel like it's been really weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's just one of those. Where it's yeah, just, I guess. They happen. It's fine. You know what I love? What? When, um, when we have a bad episode, without fail, always one person being like, this, these dudes have fucking fell off. This shit is not <laughs> funny anymore. Oh, fuck. It's like, yeah, dude. You think every single fucking podcast episode is going to be 10 out of 10? We like, do pretty well, you know, in terms of making sure consistent. every episode is <laughs> at least half decent. Yo, we pissed someone off with boxing in the bonus episode. I saw that. I saw that. I couldn't believe that. That was like triggered PTSD. Yeah. I need. <laughs> Can you pull that up? Dude, because... Oh, wait, all right, so we talked about boxing in the bonus episode, and we didn't even really talk about it. Like, barely. I just, you know, we kind of talked about it, and then Cody asked when the next Jake Paul fight is, and he's like, I don't care. And I'm like, yeah, you do. You're going to watch. And we're just kind of like going on that bit for just maybe a couple minutes. <clears throat> this dude woke the fuck up with this. I, I was, no, I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. I don't have it. I have it. I don't have it. On me, on me, on me. One comment on me. By the way, did we did we do that Timothy Chalamet fan group shit? Oh, no. why? Why? <laughs> I didn't get enough replies. No. Damn. Did you get any? Ah, <laughs> uh, they're afraid. Okay, okay. We'll we'll, uh, just we'll keep, do that. Just, in the bonus. Yeah, just keep milking it. Just keep. Mil we'll oh. we'll go look at the post in the bonus. <clears throat> I think he deleted his comment. Yeah, I'm trying to find it too. It was really good. He was fucking angry. Oh, nope, got it. I screenshotted it. <laughs> Welcome back to the fighting hour. You know, that really interesting part of the podcast. This has become some overproduced bullshit. <laughs> Over Look at the thumbnails on YouTube for the last few weeks slash months. It reminds me of those fucking kids content channels where it's super colorful and edited shit. I can't believe I get excited for this shit. Now it's just repetitive garbage. Like, damn, we didn't even talk about boxing that much, dude. It's also kind of a diss on himself that he said, I can't believe I get excited for this garbage. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it should have been got excited. Yeah. But he's like, I, I still am pumped yeah. <laughs> for every episode, even though they suck dick. Also, how are you going to be mad at us for fucking appeasing to the algorithm? <laughs> Come on, bro. I love, I love overproduced. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Man, I wish they'd just go back to the living room table. And fucking say nothing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. More us. We need more <laughs> us and likes. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. I hope it, it gets better. 
not this episode. <laughs> <laughs> if this yeah. was on this episode, I'd be like, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, this one, I'm not going to be mad at anyone yeah, for, I'll see ya. for hating I'll it. I'll see ya. Respectfully, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you said, I'll see ya? Yeah. Like, next time? Yeah, as in, I'll see you, like, you know, whenever. <laughs> Goodbye. I get it. Go for it, you know? Leave? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The uh, last I'll say is... <clears throat> Um. No, nah, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> what? No, I was just gonna. Wow. Yeah. Um, Do you think? Okay. I regret asking you that. Okay. We'll cut to me saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I was just thinking like, someone's probably definitely said this already, but like, definitely. When JFK got shot, that was televised, right? Yeah. I Who, think so, right? How many people do you think accidentally looked away? What do you mean? Like, it's like, ah! And then so whoever was watching the TV was like, oh, my God! And they're like, what, what, what? What, I missed it. Yeah. And they're like, what? I was looking at my phone. Yeah. <laughs> You're was, looking at your what? I was looking at the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at... I was looking at the phone. He's looking at a fucking cord phone. Just <laughs> yeah, looking at it. Yeah. Why are you looking at the phone? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was bored. I want to look at something else. <laughs> Yeah, they're all fucked up from like the like methamphetamine tonics yeah. they used to take for headaches. <laughs> take this for a headache. <laughs> I'm wired. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just picturing like, what was the etiquette then? Like he got nailed and there's probably a certain percentage of people who didn't see it. Not, not really because there's nowhere else to look. That's the point. <laughs> when you're watching TV, you're just watching it. But I guess at that That point, is the yeah. most entertaining thing you can do. At that point, yeah, no one would have left the TV for any reason. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been a damn captive audience. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought about, like, was there someone who showed up to work being like... What? What happened? Rewind it. <laughs> didn't we get a picture? Because, like, they didn't have instant TiVo? replay. Yeah. They weren't, like, saying. the news... You didn't TiVo that, did you? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. The news didn't, like, figure out how to, like, rerun trauma yet. You know? Yeah. And the, the newspaper wasn't printing pictures of that shit, so there had to be people who walked around for like months, you know, <laughs> just like, does anyone have the JFK? Don't ask that. I'm just, yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> Everyone got. I didn't see it. I feel. I don't want to see it. I just feel like I probably I should. should. <laughs> Everyone's talked about it all month. That's exactly how I feel about the perverse family video. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we should probably go to the bonus. What forges commitment? In America's Navy, you'll think about quitting. From the drills, the aches, the cold. But shipmates face every challenge as one. Every push to the edge. Every call to defend. Because out here, we're part of something bigger. A force that never quits. The sea forges commitment in every sailor. America's Navy. Forged by the sea. Discover commitment at Navy.com. Is your savings just sitting there? Well, put it to work. A premium online savings account from PenFed earns way more than the national average. So you can get your savings working on earning you a vacation, or a new kitchen, or that fancy exercise mirror. Apply at PenFed.org slash savings. Premium online savings account holders must agree to electronic delivery of account opening disclosures and monthly statements. $5 minimum required to open an account. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. PenFed's got great rates for everyone. 